hi in this video tutorial I'm going to demonstrate how we can uh, model and uh, simulate a four bar mechanism as you can see we have uh, four uh, components out here and this is the tree view of it so it consists of base then crank then it have a coupler link and the follower link so <coughs> right click on base and go to lock so we enable lock between for the base part and then we need to assign uh, different uh, constraints so what we do is we go to this uh, circular edge and then the second circular edge and then the options are highlighted here on the right top so we click on center okay so the order in which we select the entity is very important in this because the first uh, the second entity that we select the part will not move so again we need to make sure that we select the crank first the surface and then we select this surface and after that we click on align so what basically we have done is the center uh, constraint is a cylindrical constraint where like you can have cylinder inside a cylinder or circular edge inside circular edge and our align will make two planes uh, align to each other so combining uh, cylindrical and align we are getting a revolute joint so if I triple click on this part so I'll be able to rotate this now you can see that it's behaving as a, a revolute and it this is like we can't uh, bring this out of the plane okay now we have to continue doing with the next set of uh, revolute joints now that this is this crank is fi uh, fixed to the base through a revolute joint we need to make sure that we select uh, coupler link first and then crank link to have the constraints defined so we'll just rotate it so we need to select the coupler link first uh, we select this circular edge and then this circular edge okay I need to control select oops let's try it again circular edge control circular edge now the constraints are enlightened we click on that and now this plane and uh, control this plane so we say align as you can see this is moving to the crank now similarly we have to go ahead and uh, this time we select the follower first so we select uh, circular edges of uh, follower and this we so go to center and then similarly plane and again this plane and say align now the fourth part is a bit tricky so this is fixed right so we need to first select this and then select that so we click on this and then control select and say center and uh, I'm not sure okay oops I think we have made a mistake here let's redo it so I just delete it and delete this part okay I should have aligned this and this so what I do is I select this and I select this and uh, what happened select yeah, control select now we say align now it has come this side okay that's what we had expected so this is still we can move this okay so now we have to select between these two circular curves since I'm recording the video at the same time my computer has become a bit slow but nevertheless yeah, these two are selected
okay i said align but uh, this is a small problem if you look look at this icon the mating condition is not satisfied we get a small triangle out here for the center axis but still i think we will be able to uh okay i triple click on the component and uh, we are giving one input motion and because of which the foba mechanism we can see it's in uh, action space claim seems to have maybe some problem with uh, constraint uh, removal redundant constraint removal but we are not sure uh, we'll probably look into it thank you